Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this scale in triangle ABC such that we have been given one angle and two sides of this triangle. And now we are going to find these two missing angles and one side. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. We are going to find the value of alpha and beta and this side C. And let me go ahead and call this angle at this point C. I'm going to call angle gamma. And this side opposite to this vertex A, I'm going to call this side A. And this side I'm going to call B. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and use the law of cosines to find the value of this side C. And here's our formula, the law of cosines C square equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB cosine of gamma. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, we don't know C. I'm going to just leave it there. C square equal to A in our case is 11. B is 8. Let's go ahead and substitute those values. So this is going to become 11 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 11 times 8 cosine of gamma in our case is 58 degrees. Now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So C square equal to 11 square is 121 plus 64 minus 176 and cosine of 58 degrees if we use a calculator that turns out to be approximately equal to 0 0.53 and now if we multiply 176 times 0.53 we're going to get 93.266 and if we add these all these numbers add and subtract we are going to get the simplified number on the right hand side is going to be 91.734 and now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to find the c so c turns out to be positive or negative value of approximately equal to 9.58. And now since C represents the side length of this triangle, so therefore it must be positive. So therefore we are going to pick the positive value of C. So C turns out to be 9.58. So therefore, our side length C turns out to be 9.58. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and use the law of sines to find this angle alpha. And here's the law of sines formula. Sine of alpha over A equal to sine of gamma over C. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We are going to find the angle alpha where our a value is 11 and our c value is 9.58 and our angle gamma is 58 degrees so we got sine of alpha in the numerator divided by a in our case is 11 equal to sine of 58 degrees divided by C in our case is 9.58. And now we want to isolate this sine of alpha. So let's go ahead and remove this 11 by multiplying by 11 on both sides. So this 11 and 11 is gone. So we got sine of alpha equal to sine of 58 degrees times 11 divided by 9.58. And now if we use a calculator, sine of 58 degrees is simply 0 0.848 and then times 11 divided by 9.58. 
And now if we simplify the right hand side, sine of alpha is going to be equal to 0 0.974. Now we want to find the angle alpha. So alpha is going to be equal to sine inverse of 0 0.974. And if we use a calculator, so our angle alpha is going to be approximately equal to 76.9 degrees. So this turns out to be our angle alpha. So thus our angle alpha turns out to be 76.9 degrees. And now we are going to find the value of angle beta. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate this remaining angle beta now. Now let's recall the sum of the angles in any triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. So that means this angle alpha, beta and gamma must be equal to 180 degrees, that angle sum. Let me go ahead and write down alpha angle plus beta and then gamma angle equals to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Alpha in our case is 76.9 degrees and since we want to calculate beta, let's write down beta and gamma in our case is 58 degrees equal to 180 degrees. So on the left hand side, so we got beta plus if we add these two angles, that is going to give us 134.9 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and isolate beta by subtracting 134.9 degrees on both sides. So this cancels out. So we got our beta angle is equal to 40 5.1 degrees. So thus our angle beta turns out to be 45.1 degrees. So thus our angle beta turns out to be a 45.1 degrees. So thus our complete answer turns out to be our angle alpha equals to 76.9 degrees. Our beta angle is 45.1 degrees and our side C is 9.58 units after using the law of sines and cosines and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye